Hey everyone, it's Ashley with me, myself, and VSG. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. If you are new and you're not already subscribed and you'd like to follow my weight loss journey and learn more um, about a VSG, vertical sleeve gastrectomy, weight loss surgery, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you guys have any questions at all, please comment them down below. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you everything I'm taking with me to Tijuana, Mexico on my trip to go get my bariatric surgery. As we sit here right now, it's 2:22:22. My surgery is 22622, y'all. So we literally have three days until I leave and four days until surgery. That is my suitcase, which I'm gonna show you guys in just a second. I got it from Amazon. Everything that I'm gonna show you in this video, minus maybe two or three things, is gonna be linked in the description box down below. So be sure to check that out uh, because if you're on a bariatric journey or you plan on taking a trip like this as well, you might wanna know where some of this stuff comes from. So without further ado, let me show you the suitcase and then I'm gonna show you guys everything that I'm taking. I'm not going to show you my clothes because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to take yet. That's probably going to be a last minute decision. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is my suitcase. As you guys can see, it's one of those really cool 360 spinny suitcases. I'm really, really happy with this purchase. I think it was around $80 on Amazon. And let me show you the inside. Okay, so quick little side note. This actually comes with a TSA lock. And the way that it works is these little things right here on the zipper will actually clip into that. Um, and then you have to use a code to open it by pushing the button on the side. So that's super cool. Okay, I hope you guys can see this decently, but I am really digging this suitcase. Um, so it's got your, you know, normal spot for your luggage. It's got this little flap here where you can put, I don't know, hair ties or something. It's not a very big um, space, but I'll probably use it nonetheless. Now, what I really like about it is that there is a like, not a hidden compartment, but an actual compartment inside this one. So it's obviously got the pockets on the outside, which are nice for you know, socks, underwear, whatever. But then if you unzip it here, you've got more space for more, more like bulky items. So I am pretty excited to try this out. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna link most of these items in the description box down below. This first thing I'm gonna show you um, is this cute little Wild Fable backpack. I don't know if it's still available though, so if I can find it, I'll link it down below. Um, but it's just a mini backpack and I'm toying with the idea of taking this. I'm pretty sure that I'm set on taking this. Um, Instead of my little Michael Kors crossbody bag, it's really not that big. Um, and I like that this is gonna hold like a water bottle and my my hot drink cup that I'm gonna show you guys here in just a second. So um, if I can find this, I'll link it down below, but it's just a nice little well-made um, backpack. It's got the zipper in the inside and on the outside. And I think it's just gonna be good. Um, and you know, I may not want something crossbody um, rubbing up against my stomach. So I'm probably gonna take this. Okay, the next thing is definitely a must have. I picked up a 12 foot um, extension cord by GE, nothing special, it was only $6, but um, I figure I'm just gonna leave it wrapped like this. Obviously it would be a tangled mess if I unwrapped it, but I'm just gonna keep it if I don't need it. Um, honestly, I might return it because we have plenty of extension cords around here, um, but I just wanted something that was super long. So this is a 12 footer and hopefully if I need it, it's gonna come in handy. Okay, next is my hot drink container cup thing. Um, it is the Couture Collection by Contigo, Contigo, however you want to say it. Um, it keeps drinks hot for seven hours and it keeps drinks cold for 18 hours. Um, this was like $20. Do you need a cup this expensive? Probably not, but I like the way it looked. Um, and it's got that snap seal on it. So if you can see, it's got the hole. That's where you drink. And if you open this, it opens up the hole. And when you snap this closed, don't look at my nails, um, it will close it. So I'm waiting to redo my nails until the very last minute before I leave on my trip. Um, but anyway, I really like this cup. I am a sucker for marble. I wish that I can show you guys my phone because it's also marble, kind of like this. Um, so yeah, that is my hot drink cup that I'm going to be taking with me. Um, I'm also probably going to purchase like water bottles or whatever in the airport as needed. And like I said, this backpack is going to fit this cup so perfectly. I mean, it fits in there really, really well. So just big enough for all kinds of things okay so next are these compression socks these are wide calf compression socks i'm not really sure on the brand um these are just from amazon i'll link them down below but these were like 26 dollars or something crazy it's only a three pack um, this is what they look like, but I figure these are going to look a lot nicer than the ones in the hospital. I don't know if they'll send me home with any, um, from the hospital. And I just want to make sure, you know, that I have some on the plane ride home, just, you know, if I need it or whatever. Um, and in the days to come too, these prevent blood clots 
And what else do they do? Keeps the swelling down, helps with varicose veins, um, comfort toe pocket doesn't pinch, stays in place with heel pocket and comfort welt top. Um, and it just overall improves your circulation. I ain't about to be getting no blood clots. So these were definitely a must. Okay, so next, my mom gave me a baggie full of face masks. Last time she traveled, she bought a whole box of them. Um, unfortunately, we're still in the time where uh, masks are required in a lot of places and the airports are no, um, you know, whatever you want to call it. What's the word? Exception. No exception. So yeah, face mask, womp, womp, womp. I'm going to keep these in my suitcase and then I'm going to take extras with me on the plane in my little um, backpack. Okay, so next is my heating pad. It's got my cat's hair all over it because she was recently not feeling too good and um, I had to like quarantine her or whatever. So I had her laying on the heating pad. So I probably need to take a lint roller to this, but this is just a cheap heating pad. It's by Sunbeam. Um, I don't know exactly where I bought this to be honest, but I will link it in the comments down below if I can find one similar. Okay, so next is my power bank. This is by a brand called PowerTech. This is a must have, I feel like, for literally anyone, no matter what you're doing in life. Um, so it's got this little, I think it's like a C port or something. That's what it's called. It plugs into here and then you plug your USB portion into your power block and that's how this gets charged. And then when it comes time to charge your own phone, you charge your phone charger USB into the power block and then you plug this part to your phone and it's gonna take the energy from this and it's gonna charge your phone or device. Must have for sure, just in case I don't get a chance to plug in my phone um, traditionally into an outlet. Okay, so next are a couple of personal items. I've got my Turby Twist for my hair. I love these things. Um, they are the bomb diggity. If you guys don't have one, you better get one. You just put your hair up in it and twist it up and then you bring it up to the top and you put it through this loop and it keeps your hair in place. And it's just really good to walk around and get dressed, get your makeup on, whatever you're doing. So I love my Turby Twist and I'm also a huge fan of these microfiber towels to remove your makeup. I'm only gonna take one. I'm imagining when I go out on my birthday to like get my facial and stuff, I'm probably not going to do any makeup because I'm getting a facial. But when I go to take the tour and go to the beach and stuff, which is in my plans, um, I'll probably wear a little bit of makeup. And honestly, I'll probably wear a lot of makeup while I'm there just because that's who I am as a person. Um, it just makes me feel better. But these are a must have. Um, I know these ones are from uh, Walmart. So if I can find something similar, I will link them down below as well. Um, next, this is my favorite deodorant, you guys. This is by the Lumi brand. Um, I'm starting to realize how expensive all this stuff probably is. Don't feel obligated to buy all this stuff just because I did, but I really love the Lumi brand. Um, it is a 72-hour odor control deodorant for underarms, private parts, under your breasts, whatever, um, but this is in the scent Warm Vanilla, and I've already tried it. It smells so good. I've been using Lumi now since um, last summer in July, I first purchased it when I went on a, um, a little bit of a trip to a work function type thing and I really liked it. So highly recommend this. I bought mine from Amazon only because the Lumi website takes forever to ship. So keep that in mind. Okay, so next is this little toiletry bag and I am so excited to share this because this is like seriously such a good find. Um, I can't remember how much was this. I'm going to pull it up on my Amazon account real quick because... Um, that's kind of how I've been referencing prices and stuff like that. Okay, this was $13.99, so not too bad. It is a 16-pack travel bottles set for toiletries. Um, it is leak-proof silicone bottles. So in this little bag came a bunch of little bottles. Okay, so it came with bottles that look like this, and they are squishy. They're silicone bottles, but what I really love is the top. Hopefully you can see it's one of those tops that's not open and it's kind of closed, but when there's pressure and like stuff coming out of it, it'll seep through the top um, and then it'll stop. So hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about. You see how it's kind of moving and bubbling. So if I were to squeeze it, the stuff is going to come out, but it does not come out like this unless I were to squeeze it. So um, it also came with little labels. So like right here, you can see this one says lotion. Hopefully it's not backwards in the camera. Um, I've already got my favorite shampoo and conditioner, which if you're curious, I use Briogeo brand and it is the absolute best. It's so good for your hair. Um, it is like natural, it's vegan. Um, and clearly I'm not a very natural vegan organic type of person, but um, for my hair and stuff like that, I'm, I'm really particular about the care of my hair, especially because it is bleached. Um, so I really like Briogeo. It's got a lot of really great ingredients. I use the Don't Despair Repair line, if you're wondering. Um, it also came with little tubs like this. Okay, so this has my face moisturizer in it. I've got it labeled. 
It's also got one of these little things on top. So I've just squirted some face moisturizer in there, put that on for a little bit of extra security. And then I have that screwed on top. Um, I've also got one for my face serum. I use a really good face serum. It's like a, um, it's really kind of hydrating, but also exfoliating. And then I've got my toothpaste in here, which this one would not stay on the lid. So I went ahead and taped it with some packing tape um, or painter's tape rather. And yeah, that's where I'm putting my toothpaste. I know that they're gonna have a lot of these items there, but I don't know, just a little bit of comfort from home goes a long way. And if this toothpaste doesn't last me the whole time, if I can't brush my teeth with it every single day, then of course I'll use what they provide me. Um, but this little set also comes with these little spoon things. And this is to, um, instead of like dipping your fingers in and introducing bacteria to the inside, you can just kind of scoop it out. So I'm taking one of those. Who knows if I'm even going to care, um, but I am taking it. I'm also taking some Dial antibacterial um, body soap just because I know that's important to do just to kind of scrub up and get rid of all the bacteria on your skin before surgery. So Friday night when I'm there at the hotel, I'm pretty sure I have to scrub up with that. Um, the last Briogeo order that I placed they actually sent me these cute little samples. It is a Don't Despair Repair Mega Strength Plus Rice Water Protein and Moisture Straightening Treatment, or sorry, Strengthening Treatment. It's a two-step thing. So you put one on um, and then you put the other one on. I just figured, you know what, I'm just gonna take this with me on my trip to give my hair like a moisturizing treatment or whatever. I'm gonna have the time to do it. I'm not gonna have kids knocking at my door and whatnot. So. I have another one of those spoons too. So that is what I think is all in my toiletry bag for right now. Okay, so next is completely optional. So if you are going in for a VSG surgery, make sure that you check with your specific coordinator, bariatric surgeon, bariatric center, whatever, um, to see if this is approved. This is approved through EOC where I'm going in Tijuana, um, but this is something called Dermabond, okay? And what it is, is a topical skin adhesive, kind of like a wound glue, so to speak. Um, and this is just to use, you see it in there. This is, this is just to use um, as an alternative to like bandages. So if you don't want a bunch of nasty sticky band-aids, you can use this. Um, I wanna say it was around 25 bucks for this little tube. You only need one of these tubes, um, but I recommend it for anybody who is allergic to the adhesive and band-aids, because I know a lot of people are. Um, and I don't know, I just, I really don't want to peel band-aids off of like a sore tummy with owies and stuff. So this prevents you from needing any type of bandage because your wound is essentially glued shut. Okay, so next isn't really something I'm packing. This is my new um, ring thing for the back of my phone. I figured I'd show you guys and link it for you because they are my absolute favorite and I happen to need a new one about a week ago. So I'm like, you know what? Now is not the time for this kind of crap to start happening, but let me go ahead and order one because I cannot live without it. So this is um, what a phone ring looks like. And this is what it looks like on the back of your phone. I wish I had my phone. So let's just pretend like this is your phone. You can stick it on here. It's got a really great adhesive. Stick it on there, right? I usually put mine around this location, not all the way at the bottom. And then once it's stuck on there, this gives you the opportunity to hold your phone like this. So it's really great for selfies, cheese, or whatever you're going to be doing. Um, it's really great for filming videos if you have your front facing camera on. Um, and these little things, I wanna say are 10 or 15 bucks. I ended up getting kind of this pink, um, pretty purpley, marbly, I don't even know. My phone is um, the gray and white marble, like the cup that I showed you a minute ago. So anyway, love this and I will link it down below. Okay, so the next items are also completely optional. They are on the medication spectrum. Um, and I know that most bariatric centers are gonna provide you with this stuff, but I figured to save money, I'll just go ahead and buy it here at home. So I got some Unisom sleep tablets. This is just a nighttime sleep aid. Um, I know that when you're there, either before your surgery or even after your surgery, they will give you sleep medication, but I don't wanna pay extra for it. So I went ahead and picked some of this up. Um, and also Omeprazole. Oh, oh, meprazole. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but it is a acid reducer for heartburn, which seems to be kind of a common thing right after surgery. Um, I have heard, and this is the Amazon brand, by the way, I will link both of these down below, but I have heard that the omeprazole in Mexico is a lot better for some reason and like a lot more effective. So I guess we're going to find out. 
Okay, so next is just kind of a hot mess right now until I get everything sorted out. This is all stuff that it's gonna go um, separate in my suitcase, like in a separate bag, and then also in my little carry-on backpack thing. But I've got some face masks in here. Um, I've got, these are, I've got beef bullion here in this little baggie. Um, I sell a home fragrance product. That's my full-time job for the past almost seven years. And this is one of our product sample baggies. Um, I've also got some Gas X um, chewable tablets, a bunch of those in there. Um, I've got a little pack of tissues. I've got one of these traditional medicinals, organic smooth mood Senna peppermint. Um, it's essentially a stimulant or laxative in tea form. So I figure maybe on my flight home, I could possibly um, drink this and ask for some hot water on the airplane and have that. Um, I've also got my setting powder in here. I use the Cody Airspun Loose Powder. It's in a big old container and I really won't need that much. So I've just got a bunch of loose powder in this and I figure I'll just dip my powder brush in there and I usually use like the little poof thing, but it'll be fine. I won't be gone for that long. So I can just use my brush. Um, but this is definitely a space saver. I've got a hair tie, which I need to add a lot more. Um, I've also got like some bubble gum in here. And just these little, um, the little chiclets or canals um, chewing gum. I've got a couple packs of those. And then I just so happened to be at a trade show over the weekend with my mom. And one of the pharmacies was giving away um, a bunch of these little sugar-free candies, which we can have just to keep our mouth, um, our mouth not dry. Mouth, I, I feel like I'm saying mouth, mouth moist i hate the word moist but i'm just gonna say it because that's what it is it keeps your mouth moist um next i'm really excited about this so this is a new new little thing let me figure out if i can remember okay so i ordered this from amazon it is a tripod and the tripod that i have my phone on now is a lot bulkier than this so do you guys see how small this is it's teeny tiny what can i compare it to i'll compare it to the deodorant it's really really short probably what Got a ruler right here. I may as well look at my cute ruler from when I was a kid. My mom saved this and gave it to me a couple months ago. Um, yeah, it's literally like six or seven inches long. So what it is, is a tripod. And you have to kind of disassemble it, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but I'll take it. I don't even care. So you screw the bottom part off here, and this is your base. And then it's got these little metal or like uh, rubber pegs, which I'll probably end up losing anyway. I don't even know why I have them on there. But then you screw this on. And then you've got this part that kind of extends if you need it. And then all you do is you take that little rubber piece off to expose the screw and you put this piece on that holds your phone somewhere down here, okay? You guys get the idea. It's just a really cheap, simple way for me to be able to film the process while I'm there. I definitely plan on filming a lot. So if that's something you guys are interested in, um, be sure to hit the subscribe button because I want you guys to stay up to date on the whole progress. Um, I'm also gonna be filming um, a bunch of TikToks. And you know, I sit here saying, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. I am, I'm hoping, I'm praying that I'm gonna feel good enough to do all that stuff, but that is my intention. So all this right here, um, is what I'm going to be carrying with me in my little carry-on bag, plus like my wallet, my passport, and stuff like that. And then I've got this cute little um, pink zebra bag. It says, success is the only option because I like expensive things. Um, this is a little gift that I got from a friend a few years ago. I've got more of the gas X. So this is going to be more like personal care items that I'm going to be putting in my suitcase um, for later when I'm recovering. So a bunch of gas X. Um, I recently stayed in a hotel, so I got some earplugs. So I figured I would just take these. Um, I haven't even opened them to see what they look like. They're just little basic earplugs. And honestly, I'm probably going to just trash that packaging because I don't need the extra bulk. Um, and then I've got another pack of tissues. And of course, I'm probably going to add more to that as I go. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Um, so far, that's everything. I will probably maybe when I'm packing film like a TikTok or something like a fun um montage time lapse type thing just packing my bag um I am gonna pack light so as far as clothing and stuff goes I'm packing leggings I'm probably gonna travel in jeans just because right now that's what I'm most comfortable in um but I know what I'm coming home in for sure it's my um my really cozy pair of pants that I got from Lane Bryant they are leggings and they are just butter they're so nice they've got deep pockets I have a TikTok about them if you guys want to go and check that out but that is what I am taking. It seems like a lot of stuff. I'm really hoping that I have really packed 
lightly. I feel like I've packed lightly. I feel like I've only taken the necessities, but you guys know how it goes when you start packing and you realize that this is way too much crap. Um, but I know a lot of the stuff is going to fit in this bag too. So I really don't think it's going to be that, that bad. Um, so if you guys have any questions about my upcoming surgery, I would love to answer them for you in the comment section down below. And who knows if it's a good, good, good question, I might make an entire video about it. Um, but this is probably the last video that you guys are going to hear and see um, for me in a really long time. That was a weird way of, of wording that. that. This is probably the last video that you guys are going to see from me in a while um, until I'm like back from surgery and recovering. So um, I appreciate all of your supportive comments and your likes and your subscriptions and stuff like that so far. Um, Y'all are awesome. My TikTok following is still growing, which blows my mind. I've really enjoyed putting just some short snips um, and little like tidbits and stuff over there on TikTok. So if you'd like to follow me over there, any of my other social media, I will put all that in the description box down below. But until next time, you guys, I will see you on the flip side. Um, and I'll like show you my tummy and talk about my experience and all that stuff. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere and be sure to subscribe and I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye guys.